fifth round was very hard for me. Very I, hard. I for didn't, you. At least in just forty-five minutes, we have to solve four questions. Oh, that's that's a lot. I get. I agree, and it would be hard. Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas, guys. I'm Kabir Singh, and I'm here with another interview experience for you guys. So come, let's see how our candidate Pawan was, you know, able to crack a company like Joe's Technology Groups. And uh, we are going to understand how the interview was for JTG and what all rounds were there, what was asked in each round, and we're going to brief every round for you guys as usual. So I hope you find this video interesting and take it in handy. Also, guys, uh, Pawan has written this interview experience in his uh, own words on our website. So if you want to read the experience out, you can again go on to the link in the description below and again read the experience out. So hi, Pawan, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks Kabir, for asking. Yeah. Pawan, can you give me a short introduction about yourself and then we can start with the interview experience? Yes, sure. So hi, Kabir. I am, my name is Pawan Jinder and I'm currently working as a SG1 in Nami Studio as MPL. Okay. And uh, like before this, I work in a pay team as a software engineer. Okay, that's great. So uh, talking about uh, JTG, uh, Pawan, how many rounds were there in Joe's technology? Uh, there was seven rounds. Okay, seven rounds. That's a lot. And uh, yeah. was this a one day experience for you or was it a very big schedule wherein you were going round by round every day? Yeah, for Joe's technology group, I opt for like one month. Like they are asking for the like immediate interview, but I was not able to give all the interview like at that time, I was in my college, so some mm -hmm. other interview also was there. Oh, okay. So, Great. So talking about the first very round uh, of JTG, what was there in the first round, Pawan? So, yeah, so first round was of MCQ. That there were around 50 questions and 50 mm -hmm. minutes. Okay. So, and also there was some minus marking, one by three, I think. Okay. Great, great, yeah. great. And uh, was this round easy or was it medium or was it hard for you? How was uh, the difficulty? Yeah. MCQ round always a medium for me. Medium oh, okay. That's great. That's great. Moving forward to the second very round, uh, Pavan, what was there in the second round for JTG? So second round was offered combination of two things. One of DSA and one and was the solution base. Okay. Like in the one question, they were already like the whole code written and we have to just print out the output. Like what output will be? Okay. What like would be the kind of, Yeah. Like, like uh, some modification, like mm -hmm. there was some question on three. So have to iterate the tree on the string and have to print the output Correct. and some and the other DSA questions. Okay. So again, how, how was the difficulty over here? You said uh, MCQ was a little difficult, for, but uh, how was this? Was it an easy, medium or a hard round? It's hard round. Okay. Oh, okay. In just it was 45 a minute, at least in just 45 minutes, we have to solve four questions. Oh, that's, that's a lot. I get, I agree. And it would be hard. Uh, no doubt. Yeah. So moving forward to the third round, how was the third round for you? So third round was a little bit easy for me. Like the question mm -hmm. they asked, I like I already saw a similar kind of question earlier. Mm -hmm. So it also like the one hour round with three questions. Uh -huh. And like if we haven't solved similar kind of question earlier, that like, it will be very hard. But okay. I but firstly, I already solved a similar kind of question okay. earlier. So, you know, if somebody worked. has practiced beforehand, uh, you know, that kind of questions would be very easy to solve them. But if you haven't seen them uh, while your practice sessions, it would be a little difficult for you to get through that round. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Correct. That's great. Moving on uh, to the fourth round now, how was the fourth round for you? So uh, for me, like fourth round was, was skip. you like, uh, there were some criteria, like if a person uh, scored well in the top uh, first three rounds so mm. fourth round will skip for me but like okay. some other friend like when they gave us so okay like, I, I was able to solve all the three questions in third round and four three questions in the second round and also good win mcq okay so basically if you get good marks in the first round second round and the third round they skip the fourth round for you yeah that's great and you said in the first round you were able to solve a lot of questions in the second round where you had four questions in 45 minutes you solved three out of them and in yeah. the third round, you had three questions in one hour and you solved yeah. all three of them. That's really nice. Yeah. So your fourth round got skipped, but did your friend, any of your friend give the fourth round? If you have any insights of the fourth round, what actually happens if you don't skip that round, what happens? Yeah. So uh, like after the third round, there will be a three DSA question interviews. Okay. So like for fourth round, like one of my friend gave, so he had around um, 45 minutes. 
uh-huh. and have to solve two two DSA problems. Okay, two DSA problems in forty five minutes. Not bad, not bad. So moving forward to the fifth round, uh, what happened in the fifth round? So like for me, like for me, the fifth round was a little, little bit uh, trickier because uh, it was for me like one point five hour, and okay. they asked me four four DSA questions. Okay. So Joe's and technology that, basically takes a lot of uh, rounds on DSA questions. Do you have any idea why so? I don't know. Okay. Like, so because I, I see that the first round you have 50 MCQs, that's okay. But then the second round is again, 45 minutes DSA questions. Then the third round again, one hour DSA questions, fourth round again, DSA and fifth round again, you're saying it was four DSA questions. So that's a lot of DSA that they're asking. And uh, yeah. Uh, what would you da- rank it to be? A easy, medium, or hard? Fifth round was very hard for me. Very like, hard. I didn't, like, I didn't saw the similar kind of question earlier. Never. Okay. So, so were you able to solve like, questions over there? Yeah, I solved three questions out of four. Oh, that's great. That's really nice. So moving forward, you solved three questions out of four in the fifth round, and now you have the sixth round. What actually happened in the sixth round? Okay, so sixth round, like sixth round, like a uh, little bit trickier than the fifth round. Like, okay. Like, it got so, like so some of the people like they have around one hour. Some of the people have one point five hour. And for me, like it was two hour round. Mm-hmm. And then in that they asked me what like in the content of my resume, like uh, okay. development, internships, all the thing like. All it was like more the, of a managerial technology. round, we can say. No, not okay. the major round. Like it also like DSA round. Like first okay. they asked me. 1.5 hour DSA, like three DSA okay. questions. Okay. And after that, like in the half hour, they asked me about the development and other thing. Okay. It was a mix of a little bit of managerial plus uh, more of DSA technical, we can say. Yeah. That's good. So out of those three questions, how many were you able to solve? Kind of 2.5, like two okay. questions. I, I gave the optimal approach and mm. like code also like, but third, the term I was not able to give, uh, give most of the approach for that. Okay. Okay. So guys, if we look at it, we have a lot of questions that have been discussed here. So if you want to know each and every question, what was there in the interview, you can read Pavan's uh, interview experience that will be linked in the description below. So you can always go and check it out and then solve those questions on code studio as well. So, okay. Moving forward to the last very round, wherein you had such a big journey, Pavan, and finally you came to the last round. What happened in the last round? So the last round was the HR round. So like not that much difficult, like just okay. kind of the normal question about the journey or the interview experience about the other thing of college. Okay. Not very difficult. Not like it, not, uh, I can say it, not the interview. It just kind of uh, interaction or discussion. Hmm. So easy something. round. We'll, we'll rank it to yeah. be easy. So the first round yeah, was, like, uh, is medium hard. Second round was medium hard. Third round was medium hard. Fourth, you skipped. Fifth was very hard for you. Sixth was very hard for you. And finally, you had a very good easy round in the last. That's great, right? So it was a great, uh, smooth experience, I guess, uh, that we can figure out with your story. But uh, moving forward, I would like to ask you one last question before we you know, conclude this interview experience, Pavan. Is what would you recommend or what would you advise the juniors coming up for interviews? You know, that one tip or trick for them to keep in mind so that they can get better at interview experiences and they can give better interviews. So, uh, I can, like, I only have two tips for them. Mm-hmm. One, uh, learn the DSA and then practice. Like uh, I saw okay. like some of my friends, I, they started practice directly, but uh-huh. they don't know the much tec- like techniques of the DSA. Like some of the time, like we have to try multiple data structures. Sometimes like, we have to try different approach. Mm-hmm. Like, different, like if you don't know the algorithms, you cannot, I think, you will not able to solve the questions. That's right. right. That for me, like for sure. Mm-hmm. So learn, learn, then practice. Okay. Like that will be help you also. Okay. And the second tip only like just like general trip. Don't be afraid of the interview. Just go right. and come. And you just come in the interview. If you took the pace of interview, like, you will not able to solve. The question. Correct. For correct. Sure. correct. That's that's really nice. And I really thank you, Pavan, for helping us out with this interview experience. I hope these seven rounds can be concluded for uh, the viewers and they can get it in handy while they sit for companies like Joe's Technologies. And I really wish to shoot another video with you pretty soon. Again, guys, if you want to read these 
this interview experience and solve these problems out, you can check the link in the description below and always go and read the interview experience over there. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and the subscribe button. Subscribe to Coding Ninjas and ring the bell icon on so that anytime we get a new video, you'll get a notification. Thank you so much for watching. Happy coding, guys.